Hi guys, welcome back to another Daily Tarot card. These are your Daily Tarot cards for Thursday, November 3rd, 2022. Throne Thursday. Today we're pulling from the Game of Thrones Tarot cards. So technically today is November 1st, so happy November. Make sure to do your manifestations. Watch the full moon forecast if you'd like, but that's something they did talk about. My hand has been itchy, um, you know, bring, I, it's a sign of like, you know, money coming in. So that's fabulous. Like we, who doesn't like that? You know what I mean? But I also feel at the same time, it's like, you know, there's a sense of loss with the five of cups. Um, let me just adjust here so you guys can see without hopefully dropping my phone. There we go. So it looks like, you know, they're telling you to be kind with yourself. You know, with the four of swords, it's like rest and rejuvenation. So being kind with yourself. We were definitely talking about how, like, you know, if you were homeschooling your kids and they've been in school since August 1st, it's like taking that break. <clears throat> this August was definitely hotter than it has been in a while. Like, I I think it was the first summer we were here, it was like this hot, you know. Um, So it was just like, you know, it was a rough start to the school year, to, nevertheless. But it's just like sitting there and um taking that rest and rejuvenation but with us we you know it's shane's birthday on friday my dad's birthday the following tuesday so it's just like you know it's like we don't have to make it a sad moment it's just like these these wonderful souls that were in our life and touched us in such a profound way that you know even years after their transformation we still celebrate them and that's what it's about. It's like either we could sit there and concentrate on the three cups that are spilt over or we could concentrate what's still left over. It's beautiful out. I'm sure a lot of people are going to be sitting there taking down their Halloween decorations and transforming into Christmas. You know, I, they're definitely showing like taking a little by little. So if you're the type of person that, you know, does, you know, put up a tree and with me, I love nutcrackers. So I, I actually have a Jewish uh, nutcracker and I love it. I was so lucky to find it. And he, he has a, menor, a menorah in one hand and a dreidel in the other. And I was just like, I love it. So it's just like incorporating Hanukkah and Christmas together in our house. But I feel like it's just like, you know, it's the way that we embrace these things. You know what I mean? It's just like either we could sit there, get really sad and depressed and cry. And you know what I mean? Or we could sit there and be like, wow, you know, I'm really grateful for the time that I had spent with these individuals and continue to do so. You know, I, we're very lucky to have that time period with them, you know, and just, you know, keep moving forward. That's all you can do. You know, like, <clears throat> like we, we feel compelled to sit there and get a birthday cake and, you know, sing them happy birthday still. You know what I mean? And I, I asked the kids, I was like, do you want to do that this year? You know, so it's just like, you know, doing traditions that make you happy, you know, that bring that fun and flavor to you into your life. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. You know, some people get a single cupcake or some people, you know, some people go for a dinner, you know what I mean? On their birthday and stuff like that. So it's just like everybody does it differently. So we're starting off with the nine of coins. I feel like the nine of coins is coming in. I feel like a rebirth in our life. So we love that. And, you know, we would definitely be talking a lot about prosperity. But I feel like because, you know, we have rest and rejuvenation and the five of cups is bringing in that grounding force, you know, and I feel like it takes, especially with the eclipse energy, it takes a lot of work and effort and you have to do it for yourself. People could sit there and be there for you. And I strongly encourage you to be there for those that struggle through shadow energy. Be there for them. Encourage them. Do things that they love. You know, try to get them outside if they can. You know what I mean? But it's like we can't force people to change. You know, some people it's like they're always going to be in that shadow energy. There's nothing you can do about it. You know what I mean? They have to make that effort. They have to make that change. You know what I mean? It's it's not easy. You know, I, I'm someone that has lived with that. It tried to creep up last night, especially in this eclipse energy. It's just, I just told it, I don't even feel that way. Not even remotely. And I'm just like, get the F out of here. I'm just like, no, not one iota are you going to come and sneak in and put that thing in my head. Hell no. We have the sun in Scorpio. We have the moon in Aquarius. Higher levels of thinking. So be there for yourself. You know, it, it's all about going inside. It's all about changing that narrative. We're removing what doesn't serve us. What, so what a great time to sit there and take that stance. You know what, shadow energy? You don't rule my life. I do. You know, th this is my story. You're not going to write the story. You're not the narrator. I am. We got to take that stance. 
you know, especially if you've grown up in a scenario where someone has made you feel that way. I guess like, you know, when, when you say their insecurities or they're repeating generational cycles where they make you feel less than it's like sit there and be that parent role for yourself. If that's what you're, you're, you're healing from that trauma of where, you know, you're talking to yourself the way that they should have talked to you. And it's like F them for not doing so. You know what I mean? Some people are brought here to, to bring us down. Just cut them out of your life and you keep moving forward. The biggest gift you can give to yourself is not allowing them to manipulate your emotions. When they notice that they cannot control you in that way anymore, they'll stop. So fulfillment, comfort, prosperity, force. The nine symbolizes satisfaction and prosperity. Financial worries are over. Projects get completed and your efforts bring material benefits including the finer things in life. You feel happy and at home with yourself and any past sacrifice you made feel worthwhile. Additional meaning includes redecorating the yard, garden, or projects. So with myself, it's just like, I want to sit there. I got some planters in the front. I had some mums and stuff, obviously with the frost and everything. They're not doing, you know, it's time to say bye-bye. You know what I mean? It's time to say bye-bye to to spring, summer, and the beautiful blooms that, you know, blessed our lives, you know, you know, I sit there and I dump the soil into my garden to make it richer for the following growing season. You know, it's just getting, you know, just doing that and taking them out and then, you know, cleaning up the front a little bit, get ready for the colder months. <clears throat> but it's like, you know, closing up the backyard and everything. So moving the bird feeder from the backyard to the front yard to make it easier for me to refill it and stuff. You know what I mean? So it's just like those little things. And then it's like getting ready for that season. Cause I got to move some furniture around, but you know, bring, I, like they were saying, you know, do little by little. So you, you go downstairs, like for me, my stuff's in the basement. So it's like, you know, I see the Christmas wreath, put the Christmas wreath on the, on the stairs. You know, I have a huge nutcracker bringing that, that nutcracker out. So it's like different things that you can do, you know, to just give little hints of Christmas. You know what I mean? Or just that season, you know, Hanukkah is before Christmas. So I definitely put up my um, Hanukkah decorations as well, you know? So it's just like different things that you can do, you know, to bring that positive, happy spirit in, you know, do, decorating as a family, watching those movies, you know what I mean? So it's like little things that we can do that bring in that positivity. My son was actually talking about doing a movie night. That's one thing he absolutely loves. He's like, we should do a movie night. I'm like, yeah, absolutely. So strength. And this is where it's like, you know, with this eclipse energy, especially where it's, it's heavy, but it's removing things. Our Pisces sisters and brothers are going through a uh, Jupiter retrograde again. You know what I mean? So it's like, they really had it this year, you know, but know that it's changing and transforming you, you know, depending who you are and what you believe in and how, what, how much effort you put into yourself, you know, you know, it's not an easy journey, you know, especially if you've gone through, you know, these, you know, things in your life, you know, but it's like, be your own best friend, you know, do things that make you happy. Not every day is the best, but, you know, especially if that shadow side tries to creep in, you tell it to shut the F up, you know, and make, you know, preoccupy your mind or something, you know, go for a walk, change the energy. Patience, courage, strength, resilience, pressures. Control, compassion, stands for renewal and the flow of life. It also has a karmic meaning, what we reap, what we sow, you know? So like maybe in your family, if you're a parental figure and you see someone struggling, not everybody will resonate with what you do, you know? Um, so it's like maybe bringing in a therapist or something, how to, maybe they have different tools or maybe because you say it, it doesn't resonate with them. So bringing in someone else that, you know, could sit there and talk about it and sit there and help, you know, uh, with that, where it's like they can help, um, you know, them find tools that resonate. Maybe, it, maybe it's exactly what you talked about, but it's just it resonates different from hearing it from someone else. Strength invites you to get to uh, get a situation under control. To connect with your inner strength to deal with external pressures or inner conflict. This may mean taking a moral stance, 
holding your ground or values or dealing sensitively with a hurt, anger individual or a wounded part of self. So like they're talking about here where it's like, you know, maybe dealing with an individual being more sensitive. The card also reminds you that you have the willpower to break addictions or negative thinking patterns, physical strength, improvement in health. You know, definitely, you know, because we're getting into the winter months, you know, I am like, you know, okay, like, you know, what am I going to do, you know, this winter season to bring that physical activity in because I'm not going out and gardening, I'm not cutting the grass, you know, or any of that. So it's just like, what can I do, you know, to bring that physical activity in? So thank God for TikTok and they have some amazing individuals on there that um are able to share, you know, workouts and it's like it's you know especially for myself because you know my job isn't as physically as demanding as all of like my whole life has been you know what I mean I've always had a job that's been physically demanding now it's just mentally demanding and stressful you know <laughs> like you know what I mean so it's just like ugh. it's like you know bringing that implementing that in it's just like you know gonna help you know so um, the magician, I feel like with Mercury, Mercury is really potent with this communication again with yourself again with others, you know, they talk about Scorpio sun and Aquarius moon, you know, and they talk about, you know, we put on this mask, you know, when we're talking about this, you know, if you are going through sadness, you know, maybe it's the winter blues, right? So it's like, you know, we put on this mask pretending we're not depressed or we're not strug mentally struggling you know so it's like you know if we open up and talk about it and we feel comfortable to do so in an, a safe environment we don't where we don't feel threatened you know it's like okay you know can we get to the root of this cause can we sit there and change this narrative so action ideas and energies about it's time for inventiveness expansive thinking Aquarius, expansive thinking, and new directions. So the card often comes up to show new work, relationships, business startups, and other successful creative ventures. At the spiritual level, you connect with your higher self or true purpose. If you're waiting for news, this card tells you that you will soon have the information you need. Significant journeys, moving home. So, you know, one thing they were saying, I can't remember where I saw it, but it's like, don't, I think it was on TikTok, if I'm not mistaken. Don't make major decisions out of temporary emotions. Or maybe it was uh, Instagram. But that is so powerful. You know what I mean? We're feeling certain feelings and we're making decisions and it may not be the best decision. You know what I mean? And I, that's why they always tell, like, you know, anyone that's gone through a loss of bereavement or going through it, don't make any, you know, decisions. You know, and I did this myself and I regretted it. I didn't do it purposely. You know, the aesthetic was beautiful, you know, but it's just like, you know, out of my desperation for peace and stability, you know, I ended up effing myself and I was just like, okay, you know, thank God it turned out, you know, but it's just like, this is where I learned temperance, not to force the water. You know, I was just like, I don't like, all I could hear was judge Judy. You don't like where you're living move. And it's just like, it's true. You know, I don't like this situation. I need to change the situation. You know, if I would have been, I guess, a little more patient, I just, I was just so broken at the time. You know, this is just like the first, you know, eight months after Shane had passed and, you know, I just needed peace. I just needed calm. And I, I, I was just like so desperate to find it, you know? So it's just exactly what they're saying. It's like, I, you know, if I was in a better mindset, I would have made a better decision probably, you know? So it's like taking one step at a time, you know, that's why I'm always there for, that's why I am who I am as a healer, because I know how it feels to be in those emotions and making those decisions. You know what I mean? So it's just like, I always treat who I read for with compassion. You know what I mean? And I understand a lot of people will be like, well, that's stupid, you know, but that's fine. I feel like my purpose is to be that hope. To be that light. I feel like I'm a vessel. I never take credit for any of this. It's just like, I, you know, I'm the vessel that, you know, could be used in that way. So be it, you know? So I be compassionate with people, you know? That's who I am. That's what I want to be remembered for. She had compassion for me when, you know, others were showing compassion. 
Anytime I needed her, she was there, you know, because I know how, no, I know how it feels to be in those shoes. I never wish that upon anybody. And I guess if, unless you go through that, only then do you understand that compassion. So the four swords, refuge, rest, recovery, strength, withdrawal. It's time for rest and recuperation after a period of stress. This may mean taking time away from work or remove from physical illness or pressures or putting a relationship or project on hold until it's time to make a decision. See this as an opportunity to find personal space and, pers and perspective. This card can also show time to reconnect with your spirituality. So I feel like it's just like, you know, I know for myself, like one thing came in and I just, I didn't want to look at it because I was just like, if it didn't turn out the way I wanted I was just like, you know, it's going to wreck my day. So I just avoided it at all costs, you know. But I, you know, the other day I looked and I was just like, you know, wow. Like, what a relief. You know what I mean? So it's just like one less. And one, it just feels like a burden lifted. You know what I mean? So it's just like keep moving forward. You know, keep doing the things like, you know, that you need to do. You know, and it's just like, you know, I wake up every day and sometimes I forget, but it's like, good morning, Lord. Thank you for, and this is just what I do. You know, whoever you believe in. And I'm just like, thank you for another blessed day. You know what I mean? I feel like when you have a heart of gratitude and that's one thing that I repeated to myself and maybe I sounded crazy, but it's like when I would get upset about what my life looked like at this point, not now, but back when, you know, I was recovering, it's just like, thank you for the roof over my head, clothes on the back, just the simple things. It's like this situation, and I've learned that since I was a child, what I went through, it's just like people have gone worse through what I've gone through. I've been in widow groups where I've heard worse than what I've gone through. You know what I mean? And I'm just like, damn. You know what I mean? So I'm just like, you know, I'm grateful for, you know, even though it was a crappy situation, it's like being grateful for the recovery for where I was at that moment and what I have, you know? So it's just, you know... Telling yourself, like, you know what? Some people have it worse than you. So just be grateful for what you have at this moment. It's temporary and keep moving forward. You will gradually, I feel like, you know, with myself, it's like whatever I could handle, I could see. Like, even when I go back and I read the passages that really spoke to me, and I could see where, you know, angel numbers started coming in. Ever since I made that stance, especially with my, you know, I am not going to live in that grief and sorrow. You know what I mean? I sat there and it's like, I'm not going to let that control my life. You know, I could see the change in myself. You know what I mean? That's in 2019, early February. It's just like, you know, all of a sudden I started getting channel messages out of nowhere. I was watching a healer. She was doing her cards and I started speaking. I'm like, no, I shouldn't say anything while she's doing her cards. I could say it to myself, but I, I shouldn't say anything in the chat or anything. Um... And it's just like all of a sudden I, got, I started getting all these channel messages. I was like, it was like, we call it freehand. I was like, okay. And it was just like so magical, you know, and I never got that before. And then I started getting messages from loved ones and everything like that. So it's like, it opens this door because it's like, you know, I could have, it was a fork in the road. Either I could have went down the road and totally lost it and lost myself, or I could be reborn again to the higher self, which they've always been trying to open for me, you know? by seeing, you know, individuals and stuff like that. So it's, it's amazing when you sit there and choose yourself, you know, and not choose, you know, those emotions that are part of us, but meant to take us down. You know, we, we prosper, we fly, you know, we don't, you know, we have to learn how to, you know, start, you know, moving our wings up and down and building the muscles and everything. But you do it, you know, my mom was actually showing me that she's like, look, they're, they're teaching the, the babies how to fly. She goes, that's why they do it over the water. Because if the babies can't fly that far, at least they'll, you know, they can drift down into the water. And I was like, yeah, it makes sense, you know, but it's like, that's what spirit is doing, you know, and the more you practice, the further you fly, you know, that's why I am the way I am. Some people don't understand that and that's fine. You know, but it's like, I want to treat people with compassion because you know what? There is a lack of compassion in this world. You know what I mean? Instead of saying, eh, you know, it's like, be that soldier by their side. You know, at the end of the day, none of this matters because we can't take none of it with us. You know, got to be that positive light in someone's life. So with the five of cups, the five is the saddest card. It often comes up in 
of relationship break, relationship breakup or personal loss, including the loss of work, money, or reputation. I don't feel like it's in that sense. I feel like this is an emotional sense. I feel like by putting that mask on, where there's a sense of um of a loss, but I feel like in that loss you grow. You know what I mean? I feel like this is a, an opportunity to, to learn and grow. You know what I mean? So I feel like if it, it was like maybe you had a crush on someone, then you realize like it's not going to work out. And it's just like you put on a facade pretending it doesn't affect you or pretending like, you know, you never did. You never liked them or anything like that. It's just like to move forward, you know, and grow from that situation. <laughs> Funny enough, I was seeing if you count the rings on your wrist, that's how difficult it will be for you to find love in this life. That's crazy. I have three. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Nuts. But um, it's just, a, you know, an opportunity. So if it's like at work, like we were talking about that earlier, it's like you hate your job, but it's like you're there because it's, it's a paycheck, you know? But just, you know, be grateful. Just be like, you know what? It could be, you know, better than being on unemployment. It's better than working, you know, a certain, I don't want to run down other jobs because maybe someone's watching this like, hey, you know, but, you know, other jobs I've worked and it's just like, you know, I could not imagine working those jobs now with the way that people are nowadays. Oh my, I would lose my crap. Oh my gosh. You know what I mean? So it's just like, you know, just go in, do your hours and then leave. I'm thankful for the people I work with because I would lose my mind, you know? The card also could show old sorrows resurfacing. So like that's why it really hit me where it's just like, you know, Shane's birthday is on Friday, you know, and my dad's is on the Tuesday. So it's just like, it doesn't really hit you, but it's just like, I don't allow myself to go down that rabbit hole either. Like I remember his last birthday with us and, you know, stuff like that, you know, so, you know, it's just those certain things, you know what I mean? Being wary of the children and how they're feeling. Another interpretation is dealing with bereavement. Although three of the cups of happiness are turned over to remain. But it's like, it's what you do with it. Are you going to allow those cups to remain turned over? Or are you going to, you're going to bring them up? You know what I mean? So I feel like, you know, I feel like we have one cup still turned over, you know, because I know one of us suffer more than the others. You know what I mean? So I feel like, you know, it's not easy. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you know, even my, my sister's, you know, with her, I always like, it's like, wow, you know, she's so confident, you know, she's able to like, you know, brush things off. And she's like, I really don't though. And I'm like, what? She goes, I just keep it to myself. I don't tell anybody, you know, that I'm dealing with that. I'm like, but I, I I'm like, well, I, I got kind of offended. I'm like, I'm here for you. Like, you don't have to act like I'm some little fragile thing. Yeah. I went through the situation, but I'm not a fragile thing anymore, you know? I was back then, you know, any little thing would just make me cry, but it's just like, you know, I obviously went through a major trauma, you know, so all of us did, you know, I know they did too, you know, I know it wasn't easy for them, but you know, she puts, you know, she's a Leo. So she has that facade where, you know, but she always tells me, she's like, no, that's, you know, internally, that's not who she is. And I'm just like, wow, you never would have think it, you know? Take what you can from this experience as there is hope for the future. And that's the thing. You got to realize that, you know, this is the situation, but it's temporary. Like they said, don't make major decisions out of temporary emotions. You know what I mean? Like for one of us, it's been a whole thing. You know what I mean? So there's deeper things to it. Just not just besides the bereavement, you know? So like there's more work to be done there, but it's just like, we will, you know, we will get there, you know? It's just, we got to keep putting the effort in, you know, but it has to, whoever is going through, it has to put that effort in. And again, you cannot make them change. They have to be on that side of change. You know, we can, as much as I like, even as a parent, you wish you could sit there and take all that out, you know, where they were showing with like the TikTok, you, you, you hear them talking in a foreign language or mystical language and they're, they're plucking little orbs or, you know, bad orb energy that they see and, they're removing it out of your chakra. I don't know, out of your aura. I, I've i never um, really looked into that side of things, but it's just like removing that out, you know? So I definitely feel like readings are therapy, you know? It's definitely, you, you're exhausted after it, but it's like you feel like a load has been lifted off of you because like someone has actually seen and heard you. Someone actually, um, how would you say that? 
I feel like someone actually understands what you're feeling, you know, um, acknowledges what you're feeling. I feel like that's the biggest thing. I acknowledge the fact that you feel this way. You know what I mean? I acknowledge the fact that this has happened to you. So maybe that's the change that we have to do is like someone acknowledging the fact that you went through this situation and, you know, you cried out like, you know, and then it's just like you feel a lot better. Sometimes that's what you we need to do is have a big cry. But I feel like this is what this eclipse energy till November 8th is all about is removing those things in our life that no longer serve us and don't give it power. It only grows bigger because you feed it. You know what I mean? It's an evil monster. So the less you feed it and the more you tell it to shut up, one day it'll disappear and you'll be like, wow, damn, I haven't felt that energy in a long time. What? Because you put the effort in. It's just like working out. It's just like any, like a brand new job, anything, a brand new baby. The more that you put it, the effort into something, the better it will be. You know, in this case, the less oxygen you give it, the less energy you give it, the smaller it will be. And one day it will disappear and you're just like, damn. I feel a lot lighter because you're not feel like you're carrying these burdens and chains with you. You know, it starts with us, you know, so find someone that you can go to that be that light in your life that could sit there and help you shrink that, that shadow side. You know, some of us are predisposed to it, you know, mental health, you know, maybe it runs in the family where that shadow side comes in. Maybe generational garbage has passed on, but be that change. Break that generational garbage so it doesn't pass on to the next one. You know, sometimes situations happen where you can't help for that generational trauma to happen. You wanted to break the trauma. Unfortunately, trauma found you, you know, but it's don't give the trauma the energy. Feel the trauma, but don't let it rule your life. And I feel like that's what that five of cups is all about. Even though three cups are turned over, let's start putting those, filling those. Let's top, let's bring that cup back up and start filling it with happiness. Don't let it remain on the floor. Dust it off and polish it and start filling it with happiness. You know, we always show the ace of cups, how the universe fills it. Fill your own cup, you know, let the universe fill your cup. I feel like that's why they're saying do those ceremonies, but also sit there and realize it's happiness starts with you. You know, it, it doesn't matter if you have children or a partner or X, Y, and Z pets. Yeah, it does add to your life. But it's up to you to actually sit there and accept the fact that I want to be happy. I'm going to enjoy the little things in life that make me happy. Going like, you know, we said a few weeks ago, I've probably been a month now. Go outside and find the sun. Go outside and find the moon. You know, that's one thing I take pleasure in when I walk sunny um, after work is like I get to see all these different constellations in the sky. You know what I mean? I can't photograph them all, but it's just beautiful to see them. You could see Mercury you, or maybe it's Mars. You could see Jupiter. You know what I mean? I always look for Jupiter and then I try to look around Jupiter to see if I can find the moon. The, the moon's really low laying right now, so it's behind the trees. But take this time of this eclipse energy to sit there and make that change. You know, make that change for yourself. You know, do it for yourself. You're just as important as everyone else that you look after in your life. Every single one. Even if it's just you and your pets. You take care of them. You nurture them. And you love them. Put that same effort into yourself. So I hope you guys enjoyed these daily tarot cards for Thursday, November 3rd, 2022. May the universe bless you good. We'll see you for the next daily tarot card. Bye.